does mindfulness work for everyone? Yes, it does, but not necessarily in the same way. I'll tell you more in this video. Mindfulness does work for pretty much everybody, but different people may have different ways of getting to it. We all have moments that are mindful almost every day. We just don't realize it. It's when you're really, really present and focused where you are. It doesn't mean you're sitting on a mountaintop meditating or uh, on a yoga mat. It's Mindfulness comes in many, many ways. Now, the, do most people uh, enjoy movies? Yeah, pretty much everybody. But are the tastes the same? No, people have different types of movies that they like. They like to see them in different places, whether in the theater or at home. They've got those tastes, but, but it works for them in similar ways. Mindfulness is something that's accessible to pretty much everybody, but there are many, many doors into it. You don't have to be uh, meditating to be mindful. Mindfulness isn't just about when you're meditating or the yoga mat. It's about things you can do in everyday life and really being present. I know one person who was uh, one of the best managers that I know, uh, the most incredible leader. And this guy, he had a full life. I mean, he was incredibly focused, incredibly dedicated in his work. Um, and then he's also a very much a, a very clear family man. Okay, so the, he was very clear that after 5, 5.30, boom, that was it, work was done. He was home with his family, with his kids, and the evenings were with them. He was also a marathon runner, so he got up early. He got up at 6 in the morning every day and ran uh, before he went in to work. But he also knew he needed time away from all of that, from family, from work from the running even so that he could just be present to get everything ready to get himself ready for the day so what did he do well he was already getting up at six in the morning to run so he knew this was important so he made the time and what matt did is he started waking up every day at 5 30. he'd get a coffee and he would just sit in the dark, in the kitchen. Now, if you talk to him about meditation, he was like, you know, not into that stuff at all. But really, he was just sitting, being present. And if thoughts popped in, he just noticed them, which is really what happens in meditation. And he just allowed it to be there. And he found if he could do that half an hour before he started his day, everything else flowed amazingly well just sitting in the kitchen at the table in the dark with his coffee that's his practice and people say well my god 5 30 that's crazy well it made the difference in matt's life he was 10 times more effective in his life because he invested that time a lot of people say they don't have that time well i think it's more you choose not to have the time because you will recover the time if you need it. Now, it's not just about being present. It's not just about, you know, being still. Mindfulness is something you can do in activity as well. It's, it's about being really present with what you're doing. When uh, I was younger, when I used to put together computers, uh, I was in incredibly present. I wasn't thinking about what else was going on. I, I was right there. When I uh, dance, when we're learning micro techniques, you have to unlearn how you move posture, all of these things to, to change what you're doing. You have to be completely present. That's mindfulness as well. So it's, you know, it can be 
uh, being still in meditation or like Matt did just sitting and that that was effectively meditation he would never have called it that um, it can be movement based with things like yoga where if you're really really present not thinking about what's going on runners often get into a, a state as they move so it can be very much movement based I, I talk to people who do rowing similar sort of thing that you can you can do that um, mindfulness another doorway into mindfulness is being in nature uh, I find for me just I can sit on a rock by the ocean and I'm not thinking about anything for hours and it just washes away all the heaviness that's there or just taking a walk or taking a beach walk you don't have to be thinking you just very attuned to the temperature of the water to the the breeze all of the things that are there now one of the uh, biggest challenges to mindfulness to be being present is the non-stop head chatter that goes on and on and on uh, now there's a, a way that I've developed that allows you to just shut that off on a whim anytime you want. I will put that link uh, in uh, this video uh, and in the, in the text below. So if you want to find out how to shut off that non-stop head chatter, just follow that link. And I'll take you right through that process. It's so easy to learn. The key is building the habit. It can take, um, you know, if, uh, a few weeks to build the habit, but it only takes a few minutes a day to practice it. That's all it takes. And really, when it comes down to it, this is about building a habit. You know, if you were, just cross your arms right now, okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is cross them the other way. Now, first of all, half the people who did this probably didn't do it the other way. You put it back the way it was. But if you could change it and cross your arms the other way, how does it feel? It feels weird because you're in the habit of doing it this way all the time. But if you did it the other way several times a day, for you know a few minutes at a time it would start to become familiar a lot of people talk about the comfort zone <laughs> uh, it's not always comfortable it's just familiar it's just what we know you know I've coached people who have fought irrationally to stay in toxic situations because it's what they knew it was familiar and it can take effort to do that. Now think about, this is just a really simple habit and it feels weird. Think about that habit of the self-talk. That's something you've probably had your whole life. If you want to build mindfulness into your life, you really want to be able to let that uh, go. So uh, what, what uh, one of the, ways that I found it's so simple just follow the link down below and you'll uh, you'll be able to do that and build that habit and you'll start to see how it starts to flow through your life now mindfulness isn't just about being still it's about if you're really with someone and paying attention if you're really really focused on them now sort of like think about being in love when you fell in love you were so present with them and focused on everything about them when you were falling in love you were being mindful and you paid attention to every tiny thing now without falling in love it's possible to be present to be mindful in a conversation with someone to be mindful and present in something that you're doing a lot of people if they're gardening are often very very present uh, with the earth what's happening and just focused on being there start to notice where mindfulness is already in your life because the truth is it's in pretty much everyone's life in some small amount the challenge is to grow it and 
the the more that you can exercise it, the more you practice it, the more you silence that self-talk, the more you can grow it and make it more and more a part of your life. The key is to find out what channels to mindfulness, what ways are right for you. You know, don't just do what everybody else does. Find the channels that are right for you and have fun with it.